The final step is casing in, putting the text block into its case. Start by pushing the scrim down into the shoulder with, its, with the bone folder. Now this can be done in one or two steps. The two step process is a bit easier, so I think that's the way we'll do it. The first step is to attach the text block at the shoulders with PVA. This will make gluing down the paste downs much easier later. Just put a very small amount on the inside of the shoulder of the book on both sides. Just a small amount, but all the way along, because we're not going to be able to get back into that shoulder later. So we do want it attached all the way along. So just put a little bit of PVA all the way along, one side, then the other. Now put the text block into the cover, pushing the shoulder in firmly against the board. Make sure you get front to front and back to back. Make sure the squares are even at the head and tail. Now bring the other cover over and push the shoulder, the boards firmly into the shoulder. Now put the book between a couple of boards, align the edge of the pressing boards with the edge of the cover boards. You don't want to crush the shoulders. And then put a good weight on it. And leave it like this for 5 or 10 minutes while that PVA keys in strongly. Now it should be safe to open the book up and the text block will be held in, in the shoulders. Put a waste sheet in underneath the outer end paper, which is the paste down. And then using paste, first paste the scrim down. Now put some paste behind the tapes. I find they usually want to go up onto the boards. Sometimes they like to go, they just naturally want to fall down onto the end paper, in which case paste them on the other side. And now finally paste out the end paper, making sure you get an even coverage but don't get it too wet.
My approach to closing the book is to hold the end paper with a little bit of tension, not much because it's wet, and then roll the board down onto the end paper. I slightly bend it as I roll it down. I think this reduces the chances of getting creases. Now turn the book over and on the edge of the bench, open it up and carefully under some rubbing down paper, smooth out the end, any creases in the end paper, make sure there's no bubbles. Some people like to just close the book up. Um, that's, that usually works, but uh, occasionally uh, I've found that I get a, a significant crease that's hard to work out. And because it is paste, you can lift it back up. Put in a, a piece of um, uh, polyester or, or some other moisture barrier. Uh, you don't want the moisture from the uh, paste down getting into the text block. Turn the book over and repeat on the other side. Once the book's cased in, put it between a couple of boards, again being careful not to crush the shoulders, and put a weight on it, um, and just leave it five or ten minutes. Now the best way to dry the book is uh, open, so stand it up on its tail and uh, open it up, but support the text block uh, under it with a couple of pieces of uh, scrap board. I also like to um, put a really large bulldog clip uh, on the um, fore edge and uh, you can put it down near the tail of the book and that helps support it. Leave the book like this overnight and the next day the end papers or the paste downs should be dry. Also notice how the boards now curve in uh, because the uh, end papers have shrunk and pulled the boards in, which is exactly what you want. There's one final detail to fix up. You'll notice that the paste downs stretched a little bit and you'll be able to see them sticking out from the text block. 
and that's not desirable. You don't like to be able to see the paste downs. This is easily fixed. Open the book and support the uh, cover with a pressing board and very carefully, with your steel rule, trim off just enough, usually about a millimetre, um, so that the paste down's not visible from the text block. Now you don't want to push so hard as to cut the board papers or the cloth on the corners. Once cut, this little strip of paper will normally just lift right off. If you're having trouble getting to lift off, um, usually over the paper, it's uh, sometimes stuck on a little bit harder. Uh, just use a, a, um, a cotton wool bud uh, with a little bit of moisture and that will lift it up easily. And once you've done that, the book is complete. I hope you've uh, managed to produce a book that you're really happy with. One last thing, when you open your book for the first time, make sure you do it a few pages at a time. Maybe don't just flick it open like I just did there. Instead, put it up on its spine, holding the text block up, and open a few pages at a time. This will stop the spine being weakened at any one spot which will cause the book to always open at that one spot forevermore. So if you've completed your own book, then congratulations, uh, well done. Um, thanks for coming on the journey with me and trusting me to guide you uh, on your first book.